Another very important mechanism is ketosis has been shown to boost a very important master antioxidant. And these are not antioxidants like taking in fruits or vegetables or even supplements. These are antioxidants that are made in the body. And there is a master antioxidant, and we call it glutathione. Ketosis studies have shown that it upregulates ketone recycling. And studies have demonstrated that ketosis will enhance mitochondrial output as well as biogenesis. What does that mean? That means the little engines that process energy in all of us actually become more efficient and they actually grow. So you have these very primitive mechanisms that protect us, but do we utilize them? Well, if you're not an efficient fat burner, I would say no. If you are a sugar burner, we can improve, and I'll, I'll tell you how we do that. Ketosis modifies genetic expression. What does that mean? It's essentially the difference between our genotype and our phenotype. Here's how it works. We are given a blueprint by our mother and our father, and that blueprint was once thought to be our genetic destiny. But the recent research in epigenetics has shown that's not the case at all. It's actually the opposite. The environment plays more of a role than our genes. So if we can change our environment in terms of the fuel, what we put in our body, how we move, we can change the way our genes work. So specifically, there is a very important ketone body that we call beta-hydroxybutyrate. And this has been shown and researched exclusively trying to understand how it works in the body and how it deals with the aging process and oxidation. Beta-hydroxybutyrate inhibits something called a class 1 HDAC. That is a histone deacetylation complex. So these are very important mechanisms that hold and protect our DNA. That's what histones are. And if you can change or inhibit these HDACs or HDACs, you can literally change the way the DNA works and the way it protects itself. That's an amazing, amazing conclusion. This controls gene transcription and essentially your genetic expression.